Hello YouTube, welcome to GJ Bricks. I'm Greg. Now today I am going to be reviewing this set, set number 75937. This is the Triceratops Rampage, which is part of the Jurassic World Legend of Isle Nubla cartoon series that's coming up soon. Now you'll have known I did do a video about this set coming out a few weeks or a few months back. So go and check that out if you haven't seen it. There was a load of sets coming out. And this was one I was particularly excited about because it's got a Triceratops in it. And I don't have a Triceratops. That's my inner dinosaur loving side coming through there. But actually I think this is a really good looking set personally and I cannot wait to get into building it. Now this comes in with 447 pieces. So it's quite light on the part count really. But you get this big dinosaur, which is part of the, the reason it costs a little bit more. So we'll talk about cost at the end of the review. But I've got this one because I think there's a lot going on in here that is really, really, really rather cool. So this one sort of has flashes back to the original Jurassic Park as well. But it's about Jurassic World. So I haven't actually seen the cartoons yet, obviously, because they're not out yet. But what this has is quite a few good features. You've got this kind of Jurassic Park inspired gate here. You've got a ride here, which is a spinner, again, using those really cool new kind of retro cog pieces that look really, really cool. You get quite a few minifigures in this one. You get four in there. You've got Owen Grady, Simon Messerani, Alison Miles, and there's a tourist as well. Now, naturally, the tourist is there to get eaten. You've got a rather cool signpost, all in the beautiful Jurassic Park font style, which is really cool. And then you've got this electric fence at the back here, which is collapsible, which I think is rather cool. They've even done a little detail here, which is the fence has a red and a, a green light, so you can say if it's on or not. I think this is a good looking set. You do also get a quad bike, I forgot to mention. Another quad bike, I have a lot of quad bikes. There seems to be a lot of quad bikes in Lego, but that's not a problem. This one has a carrot attached to it, so it's completely unique. <laughs> Around the back, we can see a bit more of the detail in here. So here's the fence up, right? Here is people enjoying eating ice creams and carrots and things right next to a hungry Triceratops. It seems like a good idea. There's some steps to get onto the ride here with an important dustbin. There's a queue. It looks like the whole thing sort of clips together. I'm not entirely sure of that. This looks like it could attach here somehow. We'll see when we put that together. There's not a lot else you can see on the back that you can't see on the front though other than a bit of action around how this works and a bit clearer the actual fence collapsing mechanism. So let's open this box up and see exactly what's in here. Now being that that's a big dinosaur, I think we're going to find out that a lot of this box is actually taken up by him. But we'll see, let's open up. Always on the left side for consistency. Here we go. Let's see, there's a small box, there's a sticker sheet slightly folded but not too bad thankfully. Here's the instruction manual, is it folded? Oh no! <laughs> Dear Lego, stop folding manuals. I know why it happens, I'm just not happy about it. Now there's a few random pieces here, I'm just going to take this out and see how it comes out. There we are. There is our Triceratops, and this would be his head, so that will be quite a big box there. We've got three bags of parts and some of these fence posts here. So these are the electrified fence posts. So there's bag, let's start with bag one. So this is going to be building out straight away into the fence and I'm guessing the quad bike. Bag two is going to be the ride and the fence by the looks of it. Oh no, sorry, that's gonna be this bit and that, and probably this bit, and then bag three is gonna be the actual rock cars there. Oh, look at that manual, oh, it makes me sad. It's such a big box, it shouldn't be folded. I, I, I'm gonna talk about this for two seconds. I've come to the conclusion, the reason these are folded is when they make them, the manual is put on there by the machine and then pushed in, which is why they fold doesn't make it okay. I'm still not happy about it. That's actually one of the better manuals. At least the sticker sheet didn't fold badly because that's the worst. Now I'm going to do a quick speed build on this set and then I'll run into a review. So stick with me guys.
And, <clears throat> and here we have the finished build. Um, <clears throat> that's not right. And here we have the finished build. Now I've kept the Triceratops behind the railings here because he does get a bit touchy. So I just want to try and keep him under control for the time being. In terms of building this set, I really did enjoy putting together these bits. There's some interesting bits. I like the way this collapses. I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. This is quite sturdy, quite strong. I like the way it's clipped together just with some simple clips through here. The main actual gate is yeah pretty you know looks like Jurassic World Jurassic Park we've got this little side build here another another quad bike although that one's quite a good one but I will say probably the whole last bag and half of bag two goes into building just this bit of the set so that wordy gig bit there now it is very impressive it looks really cool once it's going is a superbly put together bit of engineering in that one but that is half the set there there's probably like a quarter of the set there and then the rest is these little bits on the side so just saying that's what to expect you can actually lift this up here and see the eggs underneath just like in the original movie in terms of detailing you've got these side builds here and I will start by saying the stickers on here are brilliant I'm a big Jurassic Park fan so seeing these great stickers on here the gift shop the gyrosphere I don't know if we're gonna see a gyrosphere in this lineup but there is the gyrosphere that was in obviously the original Jurassic World lineup and then the Jurassic World 2 actually had another one as well we've got the uh, gift shop somewhere as well so that would presume we're gonna get something there although there was the smaller Jurassic World set that had that in one way of talking about this. In terms of detailing on this set, you get some really cool stickers. I love the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park styling. You've got some Jurassic World stickers here and there. I would like to have seen a Jurassic World sticker on the gate here. I find it a bit surprising that I didn't have that. You've got the rather strange queuing system here. Let me just put this where it's meant to go, which is here. So as these go around, this is what you actually climb up to, to board the eggs. It's, it's fine, it works, but I kind of would have preferred to see something a bit more, a bit more like you'd see in a theme park, something a bit more substantial, but this works, it's nice. You've got the queue here, obviously, with the queue sticker on there. Make sure you uh, stay in line to get into the ride. Taking a closer look at these two builds, there's not a huge amount to write home about. The signage, as I said, is, is excellent. I love seeing this Jurassic World kind of style lettering and, and signage. I think that's great. And I'm hoping this means we're going to get a few extra sets as well out of this. Because I'm already really liking the whole theme we've got going on here. Over here, literally just a can with a lid on it. Now it does have a actual handle on the lid which is good to see you don't see that very often so I do like that little tiny touch good detail if I can get the lid back on there we go otherwise this is just a set of steps and some ladders that's all that is um, with some little sort of stones to try and add some detail to it but there's not really a lot to write home about about that particular setup like I say, you can detach this sign away from it. This whole thing is designed to be taken apart and used however you want to, but this is how it's built in the instructions, which is why I've left it this way. In terms of the main Jurassic World gate, I think this is a really good shape. It's a good proportion to a minifigure. If we put a minifigure in there, actually works perfectly well as a, as a kind of, this is where you walk through in the theme park. It's not designed to be driven through. I would really have liked to have seen this as the Jurassic World logo though. Now this is obviously the ride that you're about to go on, the egg spinner ride if you will, but I just, I don't know, I would have preferred to see Jurassic World on there personally. Maybe I'm wrong there, let me know in the comments if you agree with that or not. But they've clipped the classic flames here as well, that's really cool. <clears throat> I'm going to do the fence as a separate piece because I think this warrants a little bit of extra looking at. So first of all over here we've got a nice Triceratops sign there just showing you the DNA and what it eats so it's a it's a herbivore there's the DNA strand you could reconstruct an entire Triceratops just from that trust me. 
in terms of playability, this fence collapses, which is really cool. So these pieces here are designed to go down. Now the one thing I will say is it doesn't you can't actually tension this enough to stop this sag, which is a shame. That would have been really good, but you can't unfortunately. Nice high voltage sign up there, and when the fence claps, you need to turn the the light round to say that the fence is down, there's no power. Everyone abandon the park. But I think that's actually a really important touch because if you remember in the movies, when the fences go down, they go red. And then they have no lights because they've got no power. But that's how it works. So I think this is a really I think this is a good style of build for this. This was quite well done as well. These rods here going into a technic pin on the end here. So this sets quite a good style for if you wanted to do a slightly less parts intensive Jurassic Park kind of fence. If you wanted to do something more detailed, then obviously this is not the fence for you. But this works for containing a Triceratops. They're pretty docile animals, according to the movies. Although, you know, who knows? They're quite a long way in the past to us. <laughs> but yeah, drop the gate and over he goes. Ah! And finally, last in this build, we have the egg spinner ride itself, which has the eggs on top, and then three of these with these awesome new cog pieces that are very kind of retro, but not retro, and you've seen them in quite a few sets recently. Love it. Love how this works. It actually reminds me of a set my kids had, which is a Duplo um, park ride, which has very similar kind of cog system, just less obviously technical being a Duplo set. But yeah, the mechanism works really well. This quite well put together and there's a piece in there I have never seen before I need to look up what it actually is but it's effectively makes it very easy to seat the cogs in there that are running through the shaft to here the lid lifts up on this but like I said there is a lot of parts in this little piece here this is like in terms of the actual volume of the set this is probably about a fifth of the set but one third of the parts are all in here because it is so heavy that is not a criticism though it goes together really really well but the mechanism is really smooth i think simon masrani on there is going to be uh, showing us his lunch very soon if we spin it too fast you can obviously attach the fence on either side like i said so this set is really designed to be configured how you want to do it so you can even take this fence piece here and then put a piece on this side if you wanted to a piece on this side and then you've got a different layer so it's designed to be that and I like that idea they've really put that thought in your head that you can effectively build a modular park system off of this which I think is a good precedent to set so build a few more of these pieces out and that'll be really cool I can't review this set without looking at the quad bike it is another quad bike but this is a pretty good one I think this is sits quite high up uh, what's caught me out a few times on it is there's not actually any clips in here so the rider is just sitting down so it's easy to remove him but if you forget that <laughs> he falls out a lot so I've got him here carrying his carrot behind him so the triceratops can be chasing that <laughs> in terms of there's not a lot else to write home about this one you get the cool sticker for Jurassic World on the front there You've got this great grill piece that's been used in a lot of sets now. And just round the back, we have a spanner and a walkie-talkie. Otherwise, fairly standard for a Lego quad bike. Here we have the four minifigures. We've got Alison Miles, Simon Masserani, Owen Grady, and the catchily titled Tourist. The prints are really good. I do especially like her outfit here with the badge on there it just says doctor if you can see it on this on this camera but it just says doctor uh, it's just a nice looking print i like the facial print on there as well Masrani here with his suit and his crazy hair he looks very calm but he's going to pilot a helicopter <laughs> here we have owen grady looking like he's rough and ready to go he's got dirt all over his outfit creases everywhere he really is quite scruffy and then here's our tourist with a slightly shocked face, look on her face there and a bit of a body warmer outfit and an ice cream. Not a lot else to write home about there, fairly standard. Around the back, all the figures get a second face. We've got a happier tourist here, 
Owen looking calm, Simon Mesrani with a big grin on his face and the scientist looking a little bit worried there. I do like how a lot of them have prints around the back as well with these creases on the outfit. It's just a little detail, you can't really see it very well on Simon here but he does also have all the creases down there so it's good that the printing carries on on every single minifigure these days. Owen again his scruffy look carries on around there and the body warmer here is there with the puffer, puffed up bits again printed on there. Here we have the star of the show. What a fabulous looking beast. I've never owned a Lego Triceratops. I'm gonna say that right now. I've always wanted one. I've never owned one, so I'm so happy I now have one. I was very disappointed when there wasn't a Triceratops in the last round of Jurassic World sets, so it was good to see this. And look how good it is. Now, there's a lot of this is rubber, so these are all rubber, this is all rubber, the beak's rubber, the horn there's rubber, and these edges are actually plastic but printed in the grey. There's a lot of good detail in the print there. I've looked at some of the older ones, and this is a really solid update to the printing. I think this looks maybe the best out of the ones I've seen, although I'm sure that's just my preference. I'm sure a lot of others are preferred by others. I do like the fact you've got these studs on the top here, so if you want to do one of those kind of battle triceratop kind of build you can it's there you can set it up well done lego for including that and encouraging that extra bit of play in terms of articulation the legs click like that so they're on a kind of ratchet system as you usually get on these bigger models and then the head here is just free to move around a bit it's got again some clickiness it's got some side to side in there and this just connects with a Technic pin into the actual body so I think that's fabulous. I'm so happy to have a Triceratops. Yeah! Overall I'm very happy with this set. I don't think the value is terrible on it because you do get a lot of plastic in here. I mean that Triceratops alone is a huge piece of plastic and rubber molding there so that's quite a lot of weight and, and parts in there. This whole section here is a lot more involved than you think. And then the side builds do add to the set, although you'd probably want to change this one especially into something a bit different to kind of make this feel more like a ride. But the way this ride works I think is great. And I do like this modular approach Lego's taken with the fences. I think that is a good idea. And that will encourage people to add to this set and build it out hopefully. The quad bike is nothing to write home about. It is just a quad bike. You get a lot of quad bikes. If you don't have a quad bike, it's a good quad bike. <laughs> the minifigure selection is, I think, good. We've got four minifigures in here and a Triceratops. So again, very, very good value. There are quite a few stickers in this set, but again, not really a problem. And they're mostly easy to put on. I will say I thought a couple were gonna be hard, like these lines around here and the four on each of these um, seats but actually they went on really really easily very very easy to do probably the hardest ones this round one anyone who's done round stickers knows how hard they are to do so overall I recommend this set I think it's a lot of fun a lot going for it I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments do you agree with what I've said do you have this set is it one you want to get and do you think the Triceratops kicks butt because that's an awesome molding Give this video a like if you've enjoyed watching it and if you're new to my channel make sure you hit subscribe i do post regularly now here's a couple more videos i think you will enjoy thank you for watching and i will speak to you again very very soon